Welcome to the Weka Technical Demonstration Series. Today, we'll be talking about Weka Multi-Protocol Access. We'll be showing an overview of how Weka handles multi-protocol access, and in particular, we'll demonstrate POSIX and NFS access to the same file system and to the same file. The Weka Data Platform provides common access via POSIX, NFS, SMB, GPU Direct, and S3 API protocols. This is becoming more and more important as customers begin to consolidate applications inside of common data workflows onto their data platforms. When they do this, they create a common data lake where different applications may require different protocols to access the exact same set of data. By not having to copy the data out to different locations for different protocols, Weka can help simplify this entire process for them. Let's take a look at the Weka GUI. If we click on File Systems, we will see that there is a file system named Default that exists within the system right now. It's showing 13.64 tibibytes in size, or 14 terabytes in size. We're going to switch over to the CLI of a client that is mounting the Weka file systems. First off, we're going to show the mount command. And as you notice here, we have that file system name default that is mounted on slash MNT slash Weka, and that's our POSIX mount. We also have the default file system mounted on slash MNT slash Weka dash NFS, and as expected, that's our NFS mount. Next, Let's go ahead and do a df command to show you that the size of the file systems that are being mounted are exactly the same. So you see 14 terabytes for the POSIX mount and 14 terabytes for the NFS mount. Now if we go inside the POSIX mount itself, you'll see that it is empty at this point. The next step will be to go ahead and populate a file into the POSIX directory. In this case, we'll just create a one megabyte file and place it in there. If we show a ls command, you see that the file exists inside of that directory. I'm gonna go ahead and do an md5 checksum hash against that file to show a unique fingerprint of it. Keep that number in mind. It's going to be important later when we verify that the data is the same between the two directories. Now we'll change directory into the location of the NFS mount. And we'll run an ls against this directory. We see that file one exists with the same attributes that were in the POSIX directory. And if we go ahead and do that MD5 checksum again, we'll find that the number of the output, the unique fingerprint, is identical in both locations. In conclusion, Weka's capabilities of providing multi-protocol access to the same set of data can help you simplify your data pipeline reduce the number of copies in your environment, and present new and innovative ways of managing your data.